Okay, in the last video, we talked about how to use compatibility view to solve problems in Internet Explorer. Now, in this video, we're going to look at security settings and trusted zones. So if you already added your problem website to compatibility view and you're still having problems with the website, you can't log in or you can't search within the website or you can't retrieve a document, whatever the problem is, if compatibility view did not fix it, then you can uh, change your security settings and add the site to your trusted zone. And I'll show you how to do that. So again, you want to pull up the, the problem site. You want to visit the problem site in your browser. In this case, it's amazon.com. And then you click on tools and then click on internet options down here at the bottom. And then you want to click on the security tab, which is the second tab from the left across the top. So security tab. Now, there's two things we want to do in here. The first thing we want to do is add this website to the trusted site. So we click on the trusted sites up here with the green check mark, and then we click on sites right over here. Now, we have to enter this in in a specific format, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it is, and then I'll explain it. So the first thing you want it to do is uncheck this box here that says require server verification. You don't want that checked off. And you come up here, and you want to type the following. So for, you type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the star key star dot Amazon dot com. So HTTP colon slash slash star dot Amazon dot com and click add. And then you want to do the same thing again, but this time you're typing HTTPS. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash star dot amazon.com and click add okay now what this is doing essentially you have http and https https is for secured connections which your website may or may not support it doesn't matter but if you put it in here um, it will work if your website uses https and that's for security it's for encryption some websites use that to protect the login process they definitely use it if you're buying anything online with a credit card. Um, so if you put both the HTTP version and the HTTPS version, you are covered. Both websites will be in there. Now, if you don't have both of them, you may get error messages. Different, It may not work. So you want to have both HTTP and HTTPS. The purpose of the star is to cover subdomains or... Um, different ways of entering in the website. For example, if you if you type www.amazon.com, the www is covered by the star. So you don't actually have to enter in the www if you have the star in here. You may also have subdomains on the website where it may be like orders.amazon.com or support.amazon.com. So by putting the star in there, you're it's a wild card. You're saying uh, blanket approval for the entire root domain. So anything at all that's Amazon.com will be considered a trusted site, okay? So that's really what that means. Now you click on close to apply that. And then the final thing you wanna do is click on allowed levels for this zone. And right here, the default is medium. You wanna turn that all the way down to low. Okay, and then click apply and then okay. So now let's go back and check and make sure those settings are actually there. So you, we click on tools and we click on internet options down on the bottom. We click on security and then trusted sites and sites. And now, so here we have HTTP start at amazon.com, HTTPS start at amazon.com. That's in there. And the security settings are on low. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we, what we want to see. Now it's important to understand that you don't want to add just any old website to your trusted site. Because what we've essentially done is we've, we've said the trusted sites now, we're going to lower the security because we trust these websites. These are websites that we worked with in the past, that we work with regularly. They were working before, but for some reason they're not working now. Either it's a new version of IE or something happened, and we want this website to work. So what we're basically telling the computer is lower the security lower the defenses for this particular website because I trust this website. I want to bypass most security settings and to see if I can get this website to work. So you wouldn't want to just put any old website in there if you're visiting a new website for the first time. 
and you're having problems with it, you wouldn't want to add it to your trusted zone to a low security setting. You'd only want to do that for websites that you're working with that you know on a regular basis or whatever that you worked with these websites and they're reputable and they're not going to cause problems for your computer. So that's it. So this right here will solve a majority of problems with IE not working uh, with or, or, or with certain websites not working with new versions of IE. So you can try this and see if that works out for you as well. In the next video, we'll talk about Java. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.